no. They're all partying in the park yeah. down there, yeah. <laughs> When it comes to uh, on-the-side road parking, will there be parking meters or at least district parking budgets that you can, hey, you, you park in this area, you get money out. We get money out of it because that's how parking works in the real world. I got a ticket a year ago for 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 300 kroner because I p misparked my car. That's not a lot. No, it's not that bad for stock. a lot more, yeah. yeah. But I think that's a really good idea because yeah. at the moment we don't have parking uh tickets or, or the fees but but they would work because we know when the car is parked so yeah. we could uh considering uh considering the uh, i like how there's a subway station in the middle of the neighborhood <laughs> uh i like how um when it comes to emergency vehicles do they uh get priority over other vehicles when passing does do other vehicles go out of the way for them or do they also get stuck in traffic well Currently, they get stuck in the traffic. Uh, we have been looking at if we could make them uh, have the right of way, but at this moment, we haven't found a solution that would actually work nicely. If they really only really get stuck, then the vehicle before them will vanish, but that's kind of an unsatisfactory mm -hmm. solution because then the uh, person going in the car will just appear back home or, or at the workplace and we don't want that to happen too often mm -hmm. so it's just it, it's like a fail safe okay but uh, we're we're looking into it i can't promise if they will have <laughs> right of way but it, it would be a nice feature yep. um when it comes to a beautification and this is something we'll talk about in the future uh is it a dynamic does it feel let's say you want to beautify a, a a square somewhere and it doesn't mm -hmm. really fit in any sort of stuff that you have uh pre-built can you just throw in a random section in the middle there that will automatically fill up and then you have a park in the middle or will you need to pre-build something that fits in that space? Well, um, all of the stuff that you can use in the um, park building uh, phase with the decoration editor, you will have it also, well, most of it, not, not necessarily all like lamp posts or something, but most of the props will be available as uh, free to place items in the game. How many so have you scheduled at the moment? I can't oh, remember. Yeah, there is a ton because um, there is uh, their own section. So what we can see with the current parks is like um, this one has the uh, pavement, then the street lamps, these picnic tables and the trees. And these um, are all individual things yeah, that you can park. Yeah, and the trash cans. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you like, you could have all of these separately and place them, like in the middle, and it would look quite nice. I I think the pavement tool, especially, will help with these kind of situations because the these kind of uh, centers of the blocks might look a bit empty. Mm -hmm. So when you have uh, like a pathway going and some pavement and a few trees and a picnic table, then it's more like the courtyard of the. Uh, houses next to it mm -hmm. so so that's how how it will work once it's finished like putting in a barbecue or something like yeah, that something. yeah yeah good yeah the houses use some of the same props because they actually have barbecues i just can't find anyone who has <laughs> it <laughs> but they have this time no, they have. when it comes to the when it comes to the houses do they do they basically like the hedges and stuff like that are those props as well like if you wanted to could you build a hedge maze Yes, yeah. yes, you could. Ah, cool. <laughs> That's uh, very, very, very cool indeed. <laughs> yeah, there's all your citizens are too rich. These, these yeah. are some very, very rich people yeah. indeed. Yeah, yeah. Are well, we level three, so. Are we going to see any uh, parking, uh, any driveways in front of houses? They so do well. have have those. At least uh, some of the houses have garages, and the the commercial areas have kind of driveway-like uh, parking lots in the front. I can't seem to find any. I'll just <laughs> create some. Let's see what pops up because these will be the level one things, so they should be like um, fast food joints or or tiny convenience stores. So they could have the parking spots, mm -hmm. if I'm lucky. Well, this there one will have, one. yeah. <laughs> those are popping up. Those are the new, the new construction animations. Oh yeah. yeah those are really pretty. Real nice. 
Oh, there you go, some parking, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go, the parking, yeah. 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 That's, that's a lot and of so parking space. Actually. They will actually use it, so people coming to visit this uh, fast food restaurant will park their cars, go and visit it, stay as long oh. as they like, and then come out. Oh, they have yeah. a Chinese also. <laughs> cool. Uh, when it comes to, uh, if you can slow down a little bit, can we look at a uh, at a three-lane road for a second? This is a standard three-lane road that is, uh, has an intersection going towards it. Mm. Uh, would it be possible to modify the, the roads themselves uh, by changing the lanes? As in, I want to have this road, this road has three lanes, I want to have two lanes that go straight ahead and one lane for left mm. or two lanes for left and one straight or I want to have this lane specifically for buses I want to have this lane specifically for that how deep does that uh, particular modification system go is that currently in the game or is that something that you're looking at for some other time well uh, it's not something that we have planned w what mm. we aimed for is kind of making solid road building tool that works in at least most cases because um, kind of uh, assigning the lanes would be really kind of a high level uh, min maxing uh, tweaking so so with the city this size i don't think it's kind of uh, realistic <laughs> to expect the players to go tweaking the lanes and um, mostly if you feel that your lanes are not um, as efficiently used as they could, mm -hmm. it means that your road system is not as optimized as it should be. Okay. B how about bicycle paths? Well, I would love bicycles, but right now we don't have the time to <laughs> do them. But we, we have them listed, so yep. we are hoping to do them in the future. Yeah, that would be a really nice thing to add, actually, close yeah. to this and uh, get into game. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it, it would fit so mm -hmm. well with the, yep. uh, the kind of the atmosphere yeah. of the someone game. is someone is asking about one-way roads uh whether or not they're in the game i f yeah they yes. are in the yes, game most are. definitely they <laughs> yeah. are in the game uh you can you can totally build one lane roads there are, there are, there are actually specific road types that you can go into and literally say hey you want to have a one-way road yeah that's totally possible uh you can actually go even further and set a district on that road saying there's mm -hmm. only normal traffic allowed on this road. Oh, yeah. So when you have a connector from one district to another, and you want to have heavy tra traffic use the, the main highway and not that main and not that small road, even though they would too because it's shorter, you can totally stop them from going over that one-way road. So the, the mechanics are definitely there. Yeah, uh, the game allows for really, like, uh, you, you can tweak the roads like there is no tomorrow because it, you can you can do lots of stuff the the policies help you and then you have all of these different um road types and then once you can download the pre-made intersections and place those you're going to have the traffic flowing really really nicely cool are there any traffic accidents they they aren't planned but um at this moment i'm not sure what will happen to them mm -hmm. so so there might be or there might not be. Mm -hmm. It's it's obviously something that's <laughs> difficult to simulate because yeah uh, yeah. yeah. So age rating. <laughs> Is it an age rating thing? I think it could be an age rating thing. It, it uh, might be. Yeah. The some brand manager in me. Ah, some, yeah. some countries are really yeah. sensitive. Here's a here's an interesting question that has popped up several times, both on chat as well as on the forum. When it comes to houses that are interconnected, row uh, row houses basically, mm -hmm. will we have large blocks of houses that literally interconnect around corners? If you've ever been to London or something like that, mm -hmm. or any major city on the planet really, if you go into the inner city, a lot of houses are literally connected back to back. Mm -hmm. Wall to wall. Wall yeah. to wall. Are we going to yeah. see anything like that? Because right now we're not seeing all that much of that. Uh, well, on, on launch, mm -hmm. no. But I can say that we have plans. Because this is something that really makes the big big city feel, so mm -hmm. it's important. I think, yeah, absolutely, we've talked about it, and I think adding it as a, generally adding support for more European type cities uh, would be great. Uh, right now it's very American, and sort of mm. American West Coast, and, yeah. and the Middle East, and sort of, that's, that's a conscious choice, I think, the sort of, the, mm. the way most cities built today do look. Uh, you very rarely, for noise pollution reasons and anything can build uh, as densely as we used to. Mm -hmm. uh, trams. 
No. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you have small roundabouts? Yes. Um, those are there. Those are, again, roundabouts are pretty much buildable from pretty much any size, really. Mm, yeah. Uh, can you make the uh, the roundabout of death, the one, the roundabout that has several roundabouts inside of it, <laughs> that's uh, somewhere outside of London, I believe, <laughs> if you've ever heard of it. I haven't. Yeah, it's a roundabout that, I, that consists of seven smaller roundabouts. It's kind of... It's kind of crazy, really. <laughs> uh, apparently, it works quite well if you know yeah. how it works, but yeah. uh, not well, everybody does. Well, yeah. then it will work in the game, too. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the great thing about games like this is that, uh, unlike real life, people actually generally know, the, the, the characters in the game know mm. the traffic rules. Yeah. And, yeah. They and they know where they are going. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Which is uh, also go. Question, question, multi-core processing. Yes it, yes, it works. How many how many threads? We're running it on like eight threads right now, I believe. I, I can't remember. Yeah, we're running. We're right now. We're running this game on a two sixty hundred K. No, it's even lower than that. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it's it's obviously it's just, it's multi threading. We're running. I'm running it on a PC at my desk, and it's yep. got twelve cores, and it's just doing just fine. So it's it's really no, uh, one, yeah. It should just be fine. Yep. Um, for those people that are wondering what we're running the game on at the moment on this machine, it is a... Computer. It is a computer. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I know that. Yeah. Uh, with red lights on can it. I, can I say that? What? Can I say what the what this machine is that we're running it on right now? Oh, I think you can, yeah. Okay. Uh, but right now, this is a... Um, the machine we're running it on right now, is the, the graphics card is a 660... Uh, and it's a, uh, I believe this is an i5 as well. So it's a 660 i5, and this is the sort of performance you're, you're getting right now on stream. And we're also using that generally, these sort of systems we're using for to record all of our trailers as well. So the kind of uh, performance you're seeing in the trailers and or on the streams is generally what you can expect uh, when it comes to that sort of thing. Sure. No, it's not a Game Boy Advance guy in stream. No. That'd, be, that'd be really interesting if it was. Uh, the Swindon Roundabout, that's the one. Go look it up oh. if you want to have complete and utter insanity. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the one right there. It is, it is legendary on how absolutely awful it is. Um, the Roundabout of Paris. He's, he's, he's probably, talk, probably talking about the one of Champs-Élysées or the Périphérique. Mm. Oh, they're wonderful. Oh, yes. Uh, so, yeah, uh, when it comes to... This is exactly the same engine as Sim 2, I believe. Is yeah. it a modified version of that? Well, it's on Unity, so oh, of course. basically okay. it's, it's oh. the same engine. But, well, we don't really use almost anything from Sim 2, so it, it's a whole new game. Right. So cool. <laughs> the in are there, yeah. there going to be any sports arenas, sports stadiums? Yes. I have Let, them. Let's see if I have one available. I've got one in my game. Oh, yeah. Well, there you should you show it because there I, it I don't think I have mine. Uh, this is, I believe, a sports stadium right here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's in the middle of the city. And there's, uh, oh, that's probably unpaused stuff. And we're running at speed blad, by the way, which is probably not the best of ideas. <laughs> so let's do it like this. And there you go. There's a sports stadium. It's kind of big. I also have an expo center, which is in the other side of town. Uh, we will t probably talk more about that sort of stuff at a, at a future date. Mm. Yes. It's not done yet. And yeah, if you think they're too small, then you're always welcome to. <laughs> um, when it comes to uh, city blocks, yes. um, our users currently can users build pretty much any size of city block they want. For instance, mm. like how big are the uh, like how big are the houses? Uh, that what's the biggest house you can build? Yeah, well, um, for all the zoned housing, mm -hmm. they always fit the joint. So the the maximum size is uh, depth depth wise the four tiles mm -hmm. but for for like uh, placeable buildings like mm -hmm. we see here in the airport those can be really huge so so only the zone buildings always fit the grid and we have like even one one uh, square sized buildings so even if you have like a weird space left somewhere someone will come and build their house on it but for placed ones you will have l lots of uh, uh, you will need lots of space, and you will have huge, huge buildings. Cool, excellent. Uh, and apparently, there's somebody in the chat with a train who likes trains. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're 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 in the right place. Like you are yeah. in the right place. Shall we uh, wrap things up for today? I think we should. Okay, so uh, let's. Uh, 
Let's go and wrap things up, shall we? Uh, Jakob, thank you so much for the coming out here today and you as well. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, we're having a good time. Um, what is this game, Jakob? I think this is a, it's a true passion product, uh, project, to be honest. Uh, we've, uh, I think it's no other game that so many people play at the office uh, on their spare time. Uh, no other game that I think a few of the games we feel so heavily for. This is a uh, I know it's a passion project, dream project for Colossal, yeah, uh, it and it's really one for us as well. So yeah, it's it's the, the Colossal and Paradox take on a set ability. Um, we really think you will like it. We hope you like it. We know you like it. <laughs> but what do you say, Matt? What do you think this game is? You play it a lot. I, 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 I think that this is going to consume my life, because huh? it's already doing so, and it's not even in beta yet, <laughs> so it is, it is actually quite... L l come on, seriously, let's... I actually spent three hours after work uh, yesterday building this city. It is absolutely gorgeous. It, seriously, the sort of stuff that comes out of this, that is uh, maybe available in this game, is absolutely staggering. Uh, the mechanics are great. I'm having a lot of fun with it. A specific, I, I'm a big fan of um, of creating road networks, and I originally had a fun, a lot of fun with uh, Cities Emotions 2 with the road builder, yep. and literally. Literally just build roads and then yeah. generated the city yeah. around it because it was so great and now I get to have the opportunity to do it myself. Are you looking at a train station? Yes. Oh yes. my That's god, the, I need to go over. Oh it's running. so it's so <laughs> busy. Over. Everybody wants to go on the train. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. What one, one more question before we go. All those people uh -huh. they, they have a place to live? Yes they do. Wow. If they well they could be tourists, I guess. Well yeah, yeah. but then they, they will show where they live still. Alright. So, he's at Oak Residence. Oh, cool. So, this place. Yeah, nice. Cool. Alright, well, on that bombshell, thank you so much for coming out here today. Uh, we hope that you enjoy it as well. Be sure to check out the community uh, forums at ParadoxPlaza.com and uh, join up and see what we have. Soon we will have more news about uh, City Skylines and where uh, and when and how, etc. Uh, yes. This game will uh, will be in your in your hands. Yes. Well, no, no, you're not in your hands because it's obviously digital. But you know, you get well, the general. I think gist. we might even do physical copies. Uh, let's not promise too much <laughs> just yet, Yako. Yes. Let's let's not do let's not promise too much just yet. But, uh, yeah, we hope that you've enjoyed this presentation today. We Everything will be uploaded on YouTube, as always, probably tomorrow already. But, uh, yeah, City Skylines, it's coming your way. It's been announced, it was announced at Gamescom. We have now done three broadcasts for the game so far, and it is looking absolutely sexy. I, I, that's all I can say. Thank you so much for coming out, and uh, until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other. And, uh, yeah, yep. good night. Mm -hmm.